meeting to order, June 3rd, Miami Township Trustees. I uh, would entertain a motion to adopt minutes of May 20th. So moved. I second. Any corrections? Um, I have none. I do. It looks good. I have one very tiny. Uh, I have stepped back from Solid Waste Policy Committee of the Green County. Yeah. Solid Waste Policy. And Cynthia, just, you did see the green light on, right? Yes. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we, we do have two other sets of minutes, but we do. This is May twentieth. Any other comments on May twentieth? No. Uh, we have a roll. It's been moved and seconded to adopt the minutes of May twentieth, twenty twenty four, as corrected. Uh, Mr. Witcher? Yes. Mr. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Motions are adopted. Um, I didn't. I don't have the May 17th ones. I have the May 10th, but I didn't make you guys copy. So why don't we wait till next time? And you guys don't mind doing it next time. I would like that. I haven't seen them. Cool. Uh, so we'll put aside special meeting minutes of May 10th and 17th. Sounds great. Motion to approve payment of bills totaling sixty thousand seven hundred fifty-five seven hundred fifty-five dollars and thirty-three cents. From the general fund, $22,566.02. From the cemetery fund, $6,792.24. From the fire fund, $28,333.97. From the road fund, uh, $3,056.10. Uh, entertain a motion to approve payment of bills. I make a motion to pay the bills. Second. Any discussion? Not I. No. Uh, please call the roll. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to approve payment of bills in the amount of $60,755.33 uh, as enumerated. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Motion is approved. Uh, we have a list of correspondence. Do any of them uh, merit comment or addition to the agenda? Well, I, I already put two of them on the agenda because I was concerned or just want clarification about them. The Madison Hale auditor requesting documents. I want to make sure that we're, it's a team effort to get the documents that she's asking for because it seems pretty serious um, and and I think some each of us has a little part of that and then what's the other one um, the other, oh the contract for Perry and Associates I think those are the people doing our audit mm -hmm. and they prepared um, there's a contract modification for some reason and they prepared it and were to log in and agree to the modification. I don't have a login. I don't know who has a login. I would be, I'll follow up on that through the state auditor's office. As I've already expressed to you guys, I'm <coughs> hostile towards contracted audits. But we need, we need an audit and so um, it may be, would you guess, Chris, that, that Margaret has logged into that before? I would guess not. I don't believe we've used that particular outside auditor for other audits. Well, it's not that we used them, that they were assigned. assigned. Well, this, this might be a, a portal through the auditor's office. Well, I will call them. I'll call them. Do you, follow up. There's, coordinate. An email, there's an email you could have. Okay, and I'll, I'll coordinate with. Okay our uh, fiscal officer. Anything else from correspondence? Mm -hmm. 
um, the, the Ohio Police and Fire Fund did not receive payroll report April 2024. I don't know. Well, I guess I didn't even see that. Kelly Brooks. Have you spoken to me about that? Yeah. No. Um, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I just was we'll checking. Check in. Yeah, that seems really important as well. Okay. Any items from uh, Fred? Do you have anything to add to this? No, but thank you. Uh, no other public additions to the agenda. Um, our fire chief uh, is not is he's sick today, um, and I did not receive a report. Probably that's why. My best um, And I would like now to there are four items. Yeah. Where do they come from? So um, they, I put them there because they all have to do with the fire department. Um, mm -hmm. If I could write it over, I would just put OFCA assessment. I would not motion to suspend. I would let that um, not be there. But and then um, yeah. So. And the second one, well, whatever. I'll wait my turn. Uh, the status of the Ohio Fire Chiefs Association assessment is unclear. He received a partial assessment. Okay. Any we, other information? <laughs> so, as I understand it, they sent it to all of us. They asked all of us for feedback. They wanted us to proofread what they had and make comments and send it back. So Denny and I decided, since we're all commenting, why don't we send it back on Friday? Friday came, we, were, we Chris and I had both shared online our comments, and I suggested, you know, the weekend, kick it to Wednesday and send them all in or make a decision, because I wasn't sure if, if, if we um, send back comments, we're in. It, we, we are actively pursuing this process with them and we're trading comments and making revisions. So I wasn't sure if we were going to make a decision about that. So I suggested do it Wednesday. Danny just sent something to us, um, did he not, that said um, he and Colin sent their, their comments without ours and their they, they don't know what the status is. Um, so, um, I interpreted that none of us were going to comment except Denny. Well, why would we do that? Because I, I thought mean, that's what we agreed. Well, I, I, I thought Denny was going to send all our comments. And we were in, we were invited by Frank Cook to to all send to to all look it over. For the minutes of last meeting, trustees will forward notes to Chief Powell by noon Friday. He will compile and forward them to Mr. Cook. I view it as we're going through one one communicator through our fire chief. So Chris and I submitted comments and they weren't sent in to the best of my knowledge. So that system so, broke down. Uh, the latest text as of 447 today from Denny was, I'll try and touch base with Frank tomorrow. I know he was working on what I sent him from Colin and I, so that we're going to wait for Frank to say something before. That you haven't seen anything different. I have not seen anything different. No. Okay. Um, I'd like to open up a discussion, if you will, about how the board feels about this assessment. Is they ready to go forward or or not? If anybody cares to comment. Chris? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, as you could tell from my assess or my comments about it, you know, I am 100% not pleased with, mm -hmm. the, with the work that has been done and the progress that was made, what was supposed to be done. Saying that, I am not an expert in contract law. I don't know at what point we can you know, we can void a contract breach for, for breach of for timing or 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 any of those things. I made the point on my comments to um, 
to keep at, 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 at housing, that if they didn't deliver exactly what they said they were going to in the timely manner which now has passed because it was 21 days from last Friday, which is when they would have the document to us, which is why I hope we get that sent to them, be that as it may, it's now gone, then I would consider that a breach of contract. And I don't know if I could do that anyway, but that was my only mm -hmm. idea. Now, and Merrill's idea of, I'm sorry, what was it? Sus what did you call it? Suspending it or? Um, I missed it. Yeah, yeah I, I have the idea. Well, there were major errors. Our, our, our budget was, I don't want to go into a lot of it. Our, our, our very, the, our budget was wrong by, you know, one third, you know. Um, they reported that we had two full-time pension staff people at the time we had five and then we had four and then we did a whole new staffing model we're waiting for it um, the um, census data was all wrong it was confounded by they, they analyzed Miami Township then they analyzed Yellow Springs and then they analyzed Clifton and then they added them all together for a total which confounded the service area confounded the population so I'm not I'm, I don't want to drag them through anything. I'm just saying there, there are major foundational baseline errors. Um, and it was to be done between 90 and 120 days and yeah. now it's been last year. So it's going to be done before December. I would like to move that we not accept the findings, suspend the contract, pay them one third of what we owe them, and when we get through some of the things we're going through now, perhaps get back to them. And when we're further along on our evolution, which is some of the things they're going to touch on, that that we entertain the idea of picking it back up with them sometime. And I think one third one third of payment is generous. I, I, I would suggest we narrow it. Not, I mean, you just suggest a package. I would suggest. Uh, separate things out but uh, I heard you say terminate contract I heard you say pay for one third and terminate contract <coughs> I heard you say uh, consider future service uh, I think it would be good if we just did one of one at a time. But because I, because I didn't say terminate, I said suspend. Oh, pay them suspend. A, a, a generous amount of money for the work they've done so far, which is one third, and then um, suspend the contract and perhaps revisit in the future. Um, I hear you, Chris, not being a contract lawyer, not knowing if that's legal. We could. Um, it, we could get legal I think the, advice on it. I think the chair should have Jim Huber sign off on whatever I, uh, I would like us to, uh, I don't know whether the word is suspend or whatever, but you say, you know, you didn't meet the contract. It's uh, inferior. Uh, we won't, we don't, you, we don't need more services for canceling and we'll negotiate what we do owe, or something like that. Is that legal? I don't know. You're going to find out? So you're saying talk to our attorney mm -hmm. and take no other action? Right, until she signs off on it. Sounds good. Well, I don't think we need to vote on it then. Uh, we'll, we'll just hold. Okay. We haven't gotten a bill. But I think that need. would say that we don't reply and just say we are investigating status. Yeah, but if half of the replies have been replied. <laughs> Who has sent any? Denny and Colin. Uh, that, that's not what I just read. That's what I just heard that you read. I, I thought it said we are, we prepared it, we haven't sent it. Hmm. Well, I will talk to our attorney. Mm -hmm.
Uh, I don't mind having my comments forwarded because, in my opinion, it establishes a base. <coughs> excuse me, establishes a base of disappointment. Nothing else. You're, you're right. I was confusing Frank and Fred. Okay. Um, so, so we were have all communicated. We, we, we were all invited by. We were all sent the email and invited to comments. So maybe the two of us who have made comments should forward them. Uh, well, I would I would freeze everything and contact our attorney and. Good chair. That sounds fine. That is, I would, I would hold back from sending more. Okay. Um, so I, I should call Jen. Okay. okay. I got to do that. Um, so that's suspend assessment um, um this second one telefrax limited consulting proposal <laughs> you don't know what frederick Chargers oh, oh that's oh, okay so um i was going to make a motion to accept phase two of what he sent us and chris would, would like to have a, a discussion about it um we don't have to have an executive session discussion oh, because right. this could all few of these answers that I need are going to be answered by Danny and I don't see him, so we'll have to go up on that. My first question is, did either of you ask him to prepare a second proposal <laughs> with, with these highlighted areas in his second proposal on the work he's going to do? I very possibly did. In our motion, I, I don't know, I've had a conversation with him. Uh, our motion last meeting, to me, implies that. that as we move to, to continue with Frederick. Yes, we did. For a specific reason. For personnel mm -hmm. complications or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. This reads like a whole new, much more ambitious, a whole yes. new uh, project. That's not how I read it. Let me see. Township handbook, EMS medical protocol, <laughs> artifacts and interviews, artifacts and interviews regarding fire department leadership and management, work with fire chief to address any critical and group, ensure cultural operational management, work with the board of trustees to address improvements required to maintain organizational and community trust. Compare and contrast policy and practices. Where, where's that all? It's all on page three, page, page three of five in his consultant agreement. I see revision one, Township Handbook. Issues uh, come up with that fire department. It's in there. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter what's in here. I'm just wondering how he got here. Who asked him to, to prepare a new proposal with with these additions. And obviously we know the fire chief's not here, so we can't get an answer to that. So um, well I did not ask well, 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 what, 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 Not specifically what what were we doing when we asked to continue to work with him? He was going to mediate between a, a fire department employee and the fire chief. See, I was not part of that conversation. I mean we were very vague about what we did. And um so Item three. Well, he started work on it the next day. Okay. I, you see item three, the EMS protocol, blah, blah, blah. You see item three on there. That was part of that. I mean, that was part of that mediation, if, if you read the um, employee's thing. Um, Wait, I'm sorry. Tell me again what the page. I don't know. No, he got revision one, and then... I, I guess that's big. Oh, okay. Revision one, yeah. Township handbook. You saying EMS medical protocol? Yeah, that was part of the um, that was part of the document we received in the mail from from the employee. That was um, in fact three different employees brought that up. So um, 
and it seems to me four. And four it seems what, to me four what are we five, talking about here? It seems to me four and five that are all relevant to the work he has to do. To me, but, but, I, I didn't. They make no. sense to me. I did not arrange them. Chris, we voted on your motion at our last meeting two weeks ago, and you're saying it's much more limited than. It's much more broad. Much broader in scope than than I had intended. But yeah, that is what you were intending was more limited. Mm -hmm. So how would you approach this revised contract? Wait, reject it. I um, I need counsel for my fire chief. If if he had any of those discussions with with Fred, that puts a whole new light on things. Um, if Fred's assuming these are all things we wanted, that makes a difference. Well, if Fred is pro prepared to proceed, we want to wait two weeks before we decide. I don't think there's anything in here that requires rapid attention. I mean, okay. Review of township manual, review of the fire department manual. I mean, it, yes, that's all fine and dandy, but it doesn't need to be done tomorrow. So, what action do you feel we need to take to continue the the bits that you were referring to. If it was a motion, I'd say table it until the next meeting, but it's not a motion, so you know, we just have to, I mean, it's, it's up to you two how you want to proceed. Well, I'm asking you. Well, I'm telling you, I want to hold off until I talk to the fire chief. Okay, you want to wait, and uh, you think it's well, what, fine to wait two hold, weeks? What hold, does hold off mean? Does it mean contact Frederick and tell him to stop press this until we talk to the fire chief? Or? Uh, I'm just confused. You know, I didn't ask. I didn't ask for all this stuff. I didn't expect a whole another contract, other than you know, mediation between blah blah blah. I had requested in the meeting, and I certainly didn't expect an eighty-nine hundred dollar, you know, bill for it. Mm -hmm. um. Um, will both of you be in town later next week? Or later this week? I'm not going anywhere. I don't think. I'll be here. Well, I'll talk to to uh, Fred. <coughs> I get Fred and Frank confused. Two, two opposite. Two um, energies. And very possibly we'll call a special meeting later this week. Meet the chair. Um, then I'll move on to street fair cost estimate. We don't have that from the chief. Yeah, I just wanted to reiterate what that was because um, I ran into Ryan who, who was at last meeting. They just want to have, to fill in their boxes. This is, this is how much we spend on street fair. Um, so they wanted a real, instead of our, like, whatever we decide to charge them that year, because um, we give them a lot of in kind, uh, an accurate picture of what it costs us, and then what we charge them, and the other defined as in kind. I mean, it's what we've already been doing only, you know, with real numbers, if that's okay. Um, well, those numbers were promised from our fire chief, and Next time we speak with him, we can ask him how that's going. Okay. Sounds great. Um, July 4th, fireworks sponsorship revisited. Um, Last meeting we voted to give a thousand dollars. We have yeah. given. Oh, we have. We got a receipt. Okay. Um, I was just going to make the suggestion that. This is a fairly low-cost opportunity to be full, full sponsors, as we are asked, of this event, this beloved event by the community. And if you guys would consider um, embracing this, it's, a, it's an event where our firefighters, 
I know before, and I didn't have much contact with the township years ago. When I would go to those, I'd see sometimes for the first time our firefighters and paramedics there take, partaking in the festivities and having their cookout, and just it's a real um, public event for us. And if we were full sponsors, um, it would show our full support, community support, and be relatively um, low cost. So I was going to, I guess I'll go ahead and make a motion that we, we do the full $3,500 as sponsors, as full sponsors. Do I hear a second? Let the record show there's no second. Chris, are you supporting us at all? <laughs> no comment. That's all, I, that's all I wanted to see if you guys are on board or not. I, I feel like, although I share your sentiment, uh, we just doubled our contribution. We already doubled our contribution. Um, has anyone checked their email in case there was a last minute fire department report that I missed text or uh, email? I did not get one. I had it open before we walked in. And I okay. Anything. Well, then that's the end of the fire department report. Uh, Carrie, I'm not sure. You're, do you have an agenda with you? I do. Okay, so we'll get to you in a couple more steps. Okay. How many months has it been since? Sorry, that's it. Dan Gokenauer, we would like to hear your cemetery and road report. Yay, for the cemetery, we had two burials since the last meeting. We had one in Oak Road Saturday, and we have one in the Prairie today. Uh, these are good in the cemetery. So, um, the plan is to get our bases for the foundation in tomorrow. We'll, we're running behind, but we'll get in tomorrow when we get done. That's about all I got. I don't have much. Cemetery questions. Road report. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Trying to finish up the ditches, which we started two weeks ago. We don't have so we're done with the cemetery stuff. So. My man Brandon's going to take a week off, the week of the 17th. Oh. Talking to him he wanted to go somewhere. He's done a good job while I wasn't here. He really took yeah, care of things, I thought. He sure has. Yeah. He deserved a week off. He got the car. That's all I have to hear my question. Any questions? We do have fund status from the fiscal officer, but no, no adjustments or motions. There's some things on the back. We already talked about the contract modification for Ferry and Associates. But we decided about I'm, that? I'm not here. Okay. Uh, we have a few things for the on, on the back. What? Yeah. The agenda. Unless you're still on the front. I'm on. I'll try it. Oh, here we are. Auditor request. And contract modification. Okay. So, if you don't mind, could we go over what the auditor needs from us? And see who has the piece of the puzzle, because I'm not sure Gina has them. Well, by golly, there she is. We'll buy that. <laughs> oh, if we're at my part, I'll come out with her. Okay. So, what, you, is the, what is the auditor requested? So, I, I, I'll read them out. First, she says for cash, she needs a bank statement, one, Jim. The one, two ones, yeah. Yeah. February, January. And you got that. Those I have. Um, for debt, she says, I will need all documentation for all debt payments made during the audit oh, period. Yeah. That's 22 Thanks, Dean, you don't have my number. Okay, great. So, do you know if she's asking for... Yeah. Let me know. 
that's was that credit card? Was just building? Yeah, just it was an Excel spreadsheet that I printed in Word, so mm -hmm. it's a little goofy, but um, I I don't know. I mean, just I'm just hearing that. It sounds like she wants a copy of every invoice and warrant, but that just sounds way over the top. I mean, usually they just debt payments. Though, how many debt payments do we make besides the building? No. So it may be all have building. It's hopefully it is. There's only two. <laughs> right. That's that's what I took it to mean. But I don't have any I can't think of experience or records. I wouldn't even know where to find. Well, I, I know that they they sample everything we do financially, but their sample size is you know they they just take red, ten random checks and they follow it all the way through from somebody you know somebody calling us up and say they want this to make a purchase order to warrant to put you know all of that stuff. But there's only like ten of them. Yeah. So maybe yeah. I mean this would be fifteen hundred. Yeah, well, I can't imagine that that's what yeah. they're doing. It's probably either. about the building. Well I I mean I don't think by debts they mean like just regular invoices would pay. I think they mean yeah, like like outstanding debts like the building. Yeah. 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 I hope that she says, I will need the amortization schedule and agreement from the Beaver Creek Township L G I F loan. That's well, a foreign language to me. I don't that's know. available from Beaver Creek Township Fiscal Officer. Uh, this is a loan that was made to Beaver Creek Township by the LG Local Government Something Fund. I don't know. This is six, eight years ago, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's what we bought the Marks radios with, what the whole county bought the Marks radios with. Beaver Creek got the, got the loan. They did all the paperwork, which was about this thick. And then we, the different subdivisions, pay them yearly, or maybe it's by yearly, I don't know, a, a fee to pay back their, or our part, their loan to the old GIF. So the original loan information and the documents and the details and everything about the loan is with Beaver Creek Township. We have none of that. The only thing we have is a bill from Beaver Creek Township every six months or a year. Okay. Payroll. So oh, wait a minute. So who and how do we answer that? I, well, we're going to decide when we're done. I made a note for her for this. I made a note for her for this. So I would see when we her, have all her means. Madison Hale. Yeah, who's who's, who's, who's her? her? Madison Hale, the um, woman who sent us the email, the auditor. Oh, from okay. Perry Associates. I guess she's from Perry Associates. So tell her to call Beaver Creek. Well, yeah, that's what I. I made the loan to tell her that we were great families, mm -hmm. but we're not done, so. Okay. Um, under payroll, it, it asks, does the, does the township do health care reimbursements? Yes. Yes. It, do we do reimbursements? Do we yes. reimburse? Yeah, or do we reimburse. I get reimbursed for my premium. Oh. I get reimbursed for mine. So the answer is yes. I mean, does that mean do we buy health insurance? No, you reimburse. Oh, so you guys get reimbursed for stuff. Yeah, we buy it personally. We submit our personal invoices from Medicare or Anthem or whoever we're getting so it So she's, she's not saying to present them, she's asking if that happens. So yeah, that sounds like a yes or no. Yeah. Um, payroll withholdings, we need all state and OPRS remittances and any other applicable remittances for fourth quarter of 23 and 22. So. That should just be a couple of clicks to UAN. I think those are all consistent. They're also probably all filed. So, um, yeah. And I sent you what Margaret responded to, but she didn't mention that one, did she? Uh -uh. So the, I, there's probably an OPRS file there with them. Um, there is. So I guess I'm, I'm just on 2024, but I'll just make it go to 22 and 23 and bring it for an office there. Yeah, it says fourth quarter of 23. I could give this to you. Fourth quarter of I have, I have it. I'm looking at it. And, 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 and 22. I don't know if that means fourth quarter of 23 and fourth quarter of 22 or fourth quarter of 23 and all of 20, yeah, 22. Yeah, great question. Um, okay, I think, uh, I think I know how to access that. So I, I will print those, assuming it's fourth quarter for both years. So that and the bank statements are me. The bank statements after I get into single point, which um, Chris and I are working on for US Bank. And then for miscellaneous, she had um, the fiscal officer and trustee bonds. That's just probably in the file to show that we're bonded. 
I'm not sure whether they're sending physical pieces of paper that say bond anymore. Is that Otarma? Otarma handles that for us. It may be in their yearly you know, policy package, I'm not sure. A quick call to Otarma chief, whoever, would, would let you know where we are. Okay. Now, I understood that just the fiscal costs of the bond. No, really? Uh -huh. They trust me that much? <laughs> no, they don't trust you. That's why you're wrong. <laughs> and I believe Carrie's fine also. Yeah, I was just going to say, have I been? Do you have? Uh, uh, it's very small, but. Did we bond the zoning person too? Yeah. So. I, don't. I, <laughs> I collect <laughs> those payments. Um, so it's a very small amount. Okay. So then so I need to call a tarmac. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Public records training certificates for the elected officials. Um, we have those. Give her what we have. Are those in the mm -hmm. office, or do you have them in your personal? Co person? I have Chris's not received any certificate. Maybe I haven't taken the classes. I think mine's on the cabinet out. Like mine's on my desk. So. Okay. Um, our property liability insurance. Is a copy of that? Um, I don't know at all where that is. Is that? Margaret would have filed it. It's probably in one of her file drawers. Do you know the name of the company? Otarma. Oh, Otarma as well? Oh, okay. okay. How convenient. Um, we just processed and paid that like last month, I think. Maybe Dan could help answer these next two. Um, was the Fillmore, oh, the, was this building the Fillmore construction mm -hmm. project? No, I mean, Fillmore was, took part in it. Was the Fillmore construction project bid out in 2022, and can I get a bid, get the bid support for this? I don't, I, it would have been as part of that whole package mm -hmm. yeah. for this building. Mm -hmm. So MSA, our architect in twenty, or not our architect, our no our coordinator. No, that would have been. Well, yes, the, I guess the final bid would have been through um, um, Widener and Associates in Springfield, but we had we had like four bids. Uh, from that MSA that were unacceptable, and I think just the one last bid from Widener was the one that came in correctly. Well, and Fillmore would have been part of that. It, it's under Widener. I believe so. Not from Widener. Pro you know, processed by Widener yeah. Associates. Or so we would call Widener to get it? I would think so. Sounds like theory they call Fillmore. So who's going to do this? I wasn't even a, I wasn't even an elected official in 2000 when this happened. Well, maybe I was. I took well, up in front of Who was the Superman who really ran all that? Mm -hmm. uh, local guy. Chris Mitchell. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Jason Thunberg. Yes, we could ask him to ask who. But I will, I, I'll, I could, I will call Jason. They want, they want bid support for this. I'll talk Just to you me. about the exact words, okay. and I will call Jason. Okay, so that's done. And we have okay. one, one, only one left. And was the K E Rose disbursement for fifty thousand and nine dollars bid out in twenty twenty three? Nope. Is it the dump truck? Mm -hmm. So the answer is no. Are you? Uh, who's responding with the yes/no questions? Um, but then uh, that goes to the. I. I could call um, Madison Hale. <laughs> and I have four things I have to tell her. She also asked about. Um, Tell her about Beaver Creek. Tell her about does she mean the building as far as debts go? Tell her that we have health care reimbursements, and tell her that we the Katie Rose just was not bid out. There's one more thing. Sorry, I was reading that. That last email. She also said uh, these and the road department timesheets. Um, I assume she means for for all of 2023. 
That's for beyond it covers, yeah. And those should hypothetically be right in the top file cabinet door, but I wonder if those were already taken out to give to the auditor. Because Chris and I were looking for those, but um, yeah, they're not there. I didn't see them. So that's another um, Margaret question, I think. Because they should just be a stack of them for those two years. Road crew timesheets. Yeah, it's the same reason that those EFTs are not there for 23. I'm sure that she gave them. Is that something that the auditor asked for too, or were you looking for those? Well, no, I'm sure the auditor, if they asked for the fire, or if they asked for the road, they would have asked for the fire. Yeah. Well, they were, oh, they, yeah. they were there, I'm sure, but because those are the ones Barbara couldn't find them, so they're right here, we put them in the stack. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll do our best to get this information. Um, who's, so calling her, who's calling her Tama? I am. Okay. And I'm going to get Carrie bonded on that, and then I'm also asking them about the property liability insurance. Okay. Gina. Gina. And Don's calling White uh, Fillmore or somebody? Uh, Jason Thunderbird regarding the Fillmore bid, okay. so I'll probably have to do some other. Okay. He'll steer me one way or another. All righty. So the close of that addressed contract modification for Perry and Associates. We talked about that earlier in the meeting and okay. we what did we decide on that? That Margaret might have a login or somebody might have a login or have to create a login? The note that I have is that time was going to follow up with the state. With with Jen? No, this with the state on that one because it's from the state auditor's office. That's the note I have. Yeah, that's what I remember saying. Okay. Right, it is from the state. Yeah, it's from the state of the result. Okay. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Okay. All right. Zoning inspector's report. Hello. Um, okay. <laughs> Since the last meeting, I've issued three permits, um, one for a fence, um, agriculture exemption for a barn, and a new house going up on Larkins Road, which is the same place where the barn is. Um, the only other things I had, I was curious if you got the contract to regional planning mm -hmm. perfect. That was on the list. Um, and then, that, that, that's it, really. Or is there any questions meeting on the 18th? Of June. Mm -hmm. I wrote it on the calendar. I, I assume their agenda is to... To reserve the right. I assume their agenda is to address the temp use that's coming back? That's going to be one of them, yes. And then I spoke to um, Brian and Corey on the phone. I think they're also starting the process of the um, solar, like other than personal use, solar. Um, do you understand the scope of what the regional plan is asking them to do? Are they asking them to make? Yeah, um, I was at the meeting. I think Chris, you were out of town, so I was there. Um, yeah, they just, they weren't crazy about the language. Um, the one or two days. One, but not more than two. Mm -hmm. They were like, pick a, pick a number. Mm -hmm. they, they just weren't crazy about that language. Um, she sent an updated, um, Taylor from Regional Planning sent me a, a letter that I'll share with the Zoning Commission saying a little more, but um, they weren't crazy about that. They, they were like, pick a number, either one, two, five, ten, whatever, but they just, they thought that was confusing, the one, but not more than the two. Yeah, they could just say no more than two consecutive days. Then yeah. if somebody wants to do it one, they can yeah. do it one. And then the other thing is they wanted them to look at some possible um, alter alternates to that, like, um, what about a conditional use rather than a temporary permit each time? Um, why not just give it a maybe a conditional, make it a conditional use? And if someone wants something like that that's going to happen more than one time, 
the, the zoning commission has, you know, the authority right there to put conditions on it. So, which I don't think is a terrible idea. So, for one or two days? They can make conditions in any way, shape, or form. And it can be per applicant. So, if someone comes in wanting a conditional use for, uh, say, a, a temporary uh, festival for a weekend, that they want to do it, the conditions can be put on exactly for that event. And then somebody else comes and they say, well, we want to have, you know, this at our, you know, maybe like a flea market at their property. They can put conditions on that. It, I, I think it kind of makes sense. I haven't thought about it too much. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't here when they created the language either. But I think it makes sense in a way that you, you can really tailor the conditions to each event rather than having trying to create language that would cover everything. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, how do, how does the and I don't know enough about zoning to know how does how does that remain fair? I mean, how does if, it, if it's not defined, how do you tell one group? one thing and well it's a per case basis so i mean it's like comparing apples and potatoes like nothing i don't think two events are going to be the same um and depending on you know there's so many like factors to it like where it's located who's around it um you know those types of things can go into it rather than just a blanket you know Huh, just a thought. So there's a big difference between a quilting bee and a monster truck route. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, exactly. On the same property. And, right? and the nice thing with conditional use is they can put hours on it too. I mean, you're like they yeah. they can say you know you can't go past 8 p.m. or you know, so, 10 p.m. So this would, it would be like the ten, I know they split some things out. They move some of the temp use stuff. They want to move it to another section, like. Like a temporary trailer, like a construction oh, yes. trailer, or something. Yeah. Just to right. Get that. So, right. The conditional would replace the other temporary use stuff, or there'd be the temp use plus the conditional use. It, Good I question. I don't know. Depends whatever they design. Yeah, I think it's just something to talk about. Yeah. I don't imagine. I don't know. I feel like there'll be more than one meeting to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're, but we're two years in now. As far so. as events go, I think it's a good idea um, because then that conditional use stays with that person, that piece of land, until they stop that use, and then it. So that's how conditional use is. It's you can keep yeah. doing it. Yes. You don't have to come back each time. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Until I think the Ohio Rice Code says six months if you let it last for six months, which if it's a yearly thing, you know, that also could go in, into um, the approval. Yeah. I'll let the professionals handle it. I don't know how this gets them further along the road and what they were trying to determine in the first place, but how we can all of them do their thing? Yeah, I'm not sure, but I guess we'll have a discussion. Carrie, may I ask um, where they stand on uh, their public uh, review of the solar that they already submitted the regional planning and got back? Um, yes, it was approved, yes. But I know, but what they, they're responsible for a public hearing. Um, we haven't had a meeting yet. Because they don't meet in May, and that was April. Yeah. Okay, so they hadn't thought about it yet. Correct. Yeah. Okay, I got it. They haven't seen it yet because we didn't meet in May. Yeah, there, there might be a time on that I turn around on that, but if they haven't um, seen it yet, the clock hasn't started. Changing. Yeah, no, not in, okay. not with just the comments from regional planning. There's no time limit, but once okay. the zoning once the zoning commission meets on the 18th, and if they approve it, then yes, there will be a clock. Um, yeah, I'll look at the process, but they, they approve it and then there's a public hearing or there's a public hearing and then they approve it or Yes. But it's an advertising <laughs> I'll get the flow chart out and hold it. Yeah, I know. I, it does get confusing. And I'll be honest, because I kinda came in in the middle of it all, I'm not sure where it's at either. So um yeah, we'll figure that. Out. Okay. 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 Ok
but yeah, well, and then it'll come to you guys for a public hearing after theirs. Cool. Okay. Thing. Yeah, that's all I have. Thank you. All right. Nothing further with zoning inspector. I'll be here next week. I'm coming in one day to go through files, reorganize. Okay. Jump right in. Yeah. So, a question for you: Right next to your desk, there's that short file that says zoning and zoning. Are those your personal files? No, no they're, they're zoning. Stuff. They're business. Great. Okay. Zoning department business. Okay. Okay. Good. And then I have an extra map if anyone. Well, yeah, yeah. This is up to date. Yes, this is a new one. Yeah. Did we replace the bubble. one that's out in the hallway? Oh yeah, we could. Although maybe just take that down and have one in this room. I think oh yeah, I mean, fifteen dollars we could get one for both places. I think one well, on the wall somewhere 15? in this room. I think there's a spot there. I didn't pay for this. The township right there. I know people. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> You get yours for free? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, let's, not make that let's not make that public. Okay. <laughs> um, you're, you're, you're welcome to go home. Okay. I mean, I just want to make sure you understood. Oh, okay. Unless Anything else for the zoning inspector? Uh, I failed to ask earlier if there were items for new business. Are there items for new business? I haven't got there yet. You are there now. Okay. I have none. I have none. Well, we have old business. Okay. And NE Broadband. I gave you guys some documents. They've been coming right along using, you know, their broadcasting internet from a thing on the outside of our building. Um, they're doing well. That is on the outside of oh. our Quonset hut on Fairfield. Or the Pike. office. I don't know if the it's office on it. Um, on the shop. On the shop. So on they are Fairfield Pike. doing well and would like to make a move. And I'll, I'll tell you what they told me that you guys could weigh in. I give you business. Um, they would like to. Right now, they're just getting high-speed internet, and they're projecting it. They would like to up their game and do broadband, um, which would mean connecting us to broadband. I'll, I'll let them know that you guys don't have internet service out there. I'm sure they don't know that. But it would upgrade to broadband. It would go, Dan says there's already a conduit line. They didn't know that, but there is. They'd like to take broadband from, have the um, contractors bring it from across the street to the same place. Um, that'll, that will increase their projection area that they can cover. Um, that, that would be a significant investment of their funds and so they're asking, um, they have a lease agreement, they're asking for a three year commitment because that's the time they would have to do in order for it to pay off. Um, what they offer, they, they do have this deal with many people, what they offer is in-kind services. I'm not sure what they could do for us. They, they offered um, broadband for free out there. They offered five hours of any type of IT we would like, whether it's, you know, redoing, updating laptops or connecting, networking or um, just holding somebody's hand while they go through their computer problems. That's five dollars, five dollar, um, five hours a month, which they they generally charge. The value is one hundred twenty-five dollars an hour, but um, they would, yeah, it would be in kind to us. Um, they have the ambition to be a player in the broadband in the township. Um, they believe that the project is moving much slower than anticipated and estimated. That, that is the countywide. The countywide project. project might not be out here for five years. Um, and I had some questions. You know, I wondered, we signed something with the Cincinnati Bell type people. I wondered if we, but all, all that we signed, I found out, was the right to go and start inserting things. There, 
there's a law against um, not keeping open competition, so we're not breaking any laws by letting a competitor. It would just be whether or not we want to, um, I made you guys copies of it. You don't have to decide anything tonight, or maybe you've already decided. Um, there's one point I said, it said the owner, shall, the owner shall not allow any other company or person to use the owner's premises for an access point. I, I challenged them on that. They said, oh, that's just a stock thing. They put it, they actually don't care about competitors. If we, if we had some reason to add for a competitor, there, there's rules about, you know, what channel you're on. So the competitor would have to be, but I told them I don't, we're not going to be actively courting anybody to um, put something on our building. So I guess the question we have is, do we want to continue this arrangement? I'm going to remind you that they're um, very well insured. They really uh, release us from all liability. They have $2 million worth of insurance. Um, they would need, need no more access for this. Um, that they're already having, which is pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah. They need to get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Just get over it. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Get so, um, so the let, let's repeat just for whoever's watching this video and looking on the background. This company currently broadcasts Wi Fi from. What do you call an antenna or a, a thing? It's, no, a, it's a line of sight system. That's all and, we know. Uh, on our uh, shop building on Fairfield Pike. In exchange for internet service. And we get internet service there. But they then broadcast with a line of sight internet, but Wi Fi, not broadcast. Uh, to immediate neighbors, and they are proposing something more ambitious involving uh, cable broadband. Well, it, it, it would be like the same thing, only you're piping in fiber optics, and so it's, you know, have a... Okay, fiber optic. Broadband. And then they'll, I think they'll still broadcast it, they'll just get more bang for their buck. They'll have a, a wider area, I mean, this picture that I guess the red shows their area, which is well, was pretty impressive. Um, but so they're, they're coming to me, um, and I've the messenger bringing it to you and asking you guys, do you want to continue this relationship or or not? Well, for various and sundry reasons, I have refu I've initially refused myself in the whole process, and I'm not changing my position on that. So it's up to you two. I have no objections to it. Uh, I, I feel like it would be worth vetting through. Um, you said you talked to the I, I took it to Esther's office well before she left, and she said she and saw it. she saw that it was that she saw a real problem. I mean, if you trust Ash, I mean, actually called well saw no legal problems. And that was verbal. No, that's in that's in writing. Okay. I could send you that email. Um, um, if you um, want to run it by Jen, I suppose we could. Um, uh, we're already texting her on another complicated issue which this week. So. I have no. Okay, then. No immediate objection. Uh, I also don't see an urgency. I'm not sure what other information we would seek for. How would we do due diligence? Well, I, I, I don't know. I need to call Jen for a second. Things this week it get complicated. Um, so we could run this lease by a, an attorney and um, see if it. Any, if she could think of any reason why we would be advised not to do this. Yeah, I think we should ask. I mean, right now, the prosecutor's office is understaffed. 
And they asked, I don't think they've gotten new folks that would not actually left. No, I think they're still splitting our cases up between a couple of people. Well, I think we should run it by Jen. Okay. I'll follow up on that too. Why don't I take you this that one? Part? Okay. Does it mix up the two cases? Okay. All right. Hopefully we can make a decision by next week because these guys are pretty eager to um, continue with their really cool little business that they have. Um, do we have any other old business? I have none. I'm sure there'll be something after we adjourn. I'm sure there will. I make a motion to adjourn. I would declare the meeting adjourned.